What's going on guys? This video is going to be about money and in particular it's going to be about a new tool called AWS Budgets that helps make sure that you never have a surprise bill on your AWS account. And what motivated me to make this video was that a week or so ago I saw a topic on Reddit about a guy that spent over $60,000 over the course of a few months uh, on AWS and he did this of course accidentally and it's all because he left something on something like a crazy 8XL DB instance with regional awareness and these things end up being like $16 an hour or something like that. Uh, so I want to make sure this never happens to you. This is especially useful for those of you using free tier. Uh, I know I am, so I always try to keep my costs down. I don't want any surprises uh, coming out of nowhere. Uh, so where I am now, I am on the billing dashboard or the billing console. The way I got to that was up here in the top right. If you click on your account name and you go to my billing dashboard, that's how you get to this screen. And the default view is pretty much what uh, I'm showing you here. If you've never seen this before, I'll just kind of walk you through what we're looking at. Uh, so we scroll down to our spend summary. We can see last month how much I spent um, and how much I've spent so far this month. Since it's the beginning of the month, obviously this is zero. And based on my previous trends, it's forecasting me to spend something pretty similar to the previous month. Uh, also useful is that it shows you your free tier usage. So this shows you, you know, if you're getting close to your limits, uh, since the month just refreshed, uh, everything is pretty much at 0% here for me. Uh, so this is a place that you should come to fairly often um, just to check out how your usage is evolving over the month and so that you can kind of keep in touch with it. So at this point, I wanna walk you through how to use the AWS Budgets feature to show you how you can set up alarms that notify you when you breach a certain spending threshold. Uh, so I'm gonna go over to billing preferences on the left-hand side here under preferences. And I'm going to show you how we used to do this because uh, it was kind of a tedious way. And I just kind of want to show you how this has evolved over time. Uh, so previously, how you had to do this, if you wanted to receive any kind of alarm or email or anything when you exceed a threshold, was you'd have to come over here and tick this box. It says receive billing alerts. And what this would essentially do is create a series of AWS CloudWatch alarms. So if we actually click on, on this guy here, it'll bring us to the CloudWatch section. And I'm gonna to go to billing here. So what ticking that button did was that it created all of these uh, kind of metrics that we can now monitor. And since you know I don't have any usage here, so these are all obviously gonna be blank, but if I was using DynamoDB regularly, I would see kind of my costs flowing through time and it kind of breaks it up by the minute uh, over here. So this is what we had to do previously. Um, and what folks were doing were setting up CloudWatch alarms on certain uh, limits so that when you breached over a certain amount, it would send you either an email or a push notification or whatever. Uh, so that was the old way, very tedious kind of, you had to jump through a lot of hoops, not very user friendly. So let's go and show you the new way of doing this, which is, I'll tell you right now, it's a million times better. So let's go check it out. Uh, so I'm gonna go to the top left over here in the budget section, gonna click on the budgets button. Uh, it's gonna bring you over to this budgets page. Uh, and I don't have any budgets set up right now. I was toying with this earlier, but I deleted them all. So if you've never come here before, this is the page that you're gonna see. Uh, just giving you kind of some introductory information here about the features of the service. Um, I'm gonna walk you through all this, so don't worry about it. We're gonna go to the top right over here and click on create a budget. And we're gonna do a cost budget. There's many different kinds, which is kind of neat. So there's cost, if you just care about not spending a certain amount of money. Uh, there's usage, which allow you to set budgets on usage. So maybe you wanna keep a certain um, CPU utilization on all the EC2 machines in your, in your fleet. And if you ever kind of drop below a certain metric, then you can send yourself an alarm. That's also supported. Uh, and these are other types as well. So savings plan and reservations. Uh, so if you're interested in these ones, you can kind of do a little bit more reading. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the cost budget just because I think it's the most applicable uh, to the most of us. So clicking on cost budget, gonna go to the bottom right here and click on set up your budget or set your budget rather. Okay, and over here we can set up a uh, name here. So I'm just gonna say WS Simplified Monthly Budget. Uh, because what I want to do here is basically tell me when uh, I hit, uh, let's say $5, that's going to be my budget. If I ever get over that uh, on a monthly basis, then I want to send myself an email so I can go and check out what's going on. Um, so you can set the period here if you want it to be uh, monthly, quarterly, or annually. I care about monthly, so I'm going to leave it there. Okay, budget effective dates. And what this section allows you to do is to set whether or not you want this to be recurring. So every month, or you want to start on a certain date. Maybe you want to start this month and finish at the end of the year or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to set that back. I think most of you will probably use recurring budget here. Um, and so you have a budget amount, so you can kind of set this to fix so that 
every month say you want it to be five dollars or you can set this to be a little bit more dynamic so what this guy is showing you is um you know for this month maybe i want it to be five dollars oops i'm locked you want it to be five dollars and the next month maybe 10 and then you know 20 and then for whatever uh, pattern that you want i'm just going to take all this out for me uh, since it doesn't really matter uh, i'm going to set it back to fixed so that's useful if uh, kind of you want to change your cost strategy over time and you want to have certain budgets or alerts on different months so that could be pretty useful for you uh, since we're using fixed uh, this is where you set the amount that you want to budget on per month uh, and again, per month because I set the recurring budget and I set it to monthly up here. Uh, so let's say, uh, I think I said I want to set this to $5. So if I ever exceed $5, I'm going to trigger a uh, alarm. And what this guy allows you to do, this is actually a pretty neat feature. So you can actually uh, filter by a whole bunch of different dimensions here. So you can apply this budget to say, for instance, just a certain service. So say for instance, I just want to know when my lambdas are getting out of control. Um, maybe you know you have a lot of invocations on your API gateway, it's invoking your lambda a lot. You can set this up so that your budget is only for a service or a particular uh, combination of services. So there's a whole lot of flexibility here to do some really cool things um, with all the different filtering that the service provides. So I'm just gonna leave this blank because you know I want this to be a blanket level budget that covers my entire account. Uh, so leaving all this blank, so moving down now to the advanced options, uh, aggregate options buy. So for 99% of you, unblended is fine. Uh, for those of you that are more into finance, you'll know what these two mean, but I'm just gonna leave it on unblended uh, for this exercise. And you can also offset it with, uh, if you have credits on your account, you can include that to kind of update these graphs or take into account these credits when you're uh, setting up this budget. So that looks good to me. Um, just to recap what we did. So we, we created a budget, we named it, we set it to be monthly. We want it to be fixed cost of $5 per month. And we want it to be a blanket budget. So no filters were applied to any service region or anything like that. Um, and so that, that's what we did. So that looks good for now. Let's go to configure alerts now. Okay, so up here, we are just seeing confirmation of our budget amount, $5, that's correct. That's what we set previously. Uh, and then we can configure our alerts here. So uh, you can decide to send the alert either on the actual cost uh, or the forecasted cost. Uh, so actual is useful for when you hit a certain kind of threshold, you'll send the alarm. Uh, but forecasting could be important for kind of analyzing the rate of change. Say for instance, you get a sudden burst of traffic one day uh, that can severely alter your forecast and especially have a big impact on what your spend will be on the end of the month. Uh, so forecast is more for kind of rate of change, I would say and actual is just when you, you breach a certain threshold. Uh, so you can set this up to have, a, have an alert threshold. So if you want uh, to be a certain percent, say you only wanna get notified when you actually hit this value. So uh, when we hit $5, it's gonna send me a notification. Uh, you can also have some absolute value. So say when I hit 250 or something, um, and you know $5 is 100%, but in our case, let's just use the percentage and we're gonna set our percentage, let's say 90%. When we hit 90%, we're going to send myself an email uh, so this is just giving you a confirmation here that's great so it's going to send us an email or send us a notification when it hits 450 and email contacts i'm going to send an email to myself and you can add a whole bunch here if you want uh, if you want to send this to multiple people and you can also uh, set this up via an SNS topic. So it'll broadcast to an SNS topic. Uh, if you don't know what SNS is, uh, I highly suggest you go check out my video. I'll put it in the top right over here and I'll link it at the end as well. Uh, SNS allows you to kind of broadcast a message to your phone as well via a text message. Uh, so it's a pretty cool option, especially if you don't have your email connected to your phone. Um, we're not gonna do that in this exercise, but perhaps that's a topic for another video. And then if you are using AWS uh, Chime or Slack, you can set up an alert and have it sent to a, um, a chat bot so that you get kind of a, a chat notification in your um, organization's chat room. Uh, so we can just go ahead and say confirm budget. And we're just gonna get a summary here that just tells us everything that we did. And we're gonna go ahead and click on create. And that is pretty much it for the setup perspective. Um, you're gonna get your email now when you breach this $5 threshold. Uh, and as kind of the month goes on, you'll be able to see how your usage changes, how your projections change, and all sorts of other juicy data that comes with this. Also have the opportunity to download this via CSV. Uh, so if you wanna do some more analysis, you can do that in a spreadsheet. 
So I hope you set this up, especially if you're just getting started with AWS, just so you don't have any uh, unfortunate surprises at the end of the month. Uh, and if you like this video, I have many more on AWS topics, so be sure to check out my channel. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week's video. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.